Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about decimal adder. If a computer performs arithmetic operations directly in decimal number system, then in that computer, decim decimal numbers are represented in binary coded form. Adders of such computers are called decimal adders. Decimal adders take decimal numbers to be added in binary code as input and produce the sum of these input decimal numbers as output in same binary code. Now since there are 10 digits in decimal number system. So at least 4 bits are required to code each decimal digit. Now we will design a decimal adder that is BCD adder. In BCD each digit of a decimal number system is represented by a 4 bit binary number whose decimal value is equal to that digit. Now suppose the decimal digit is 0 then in BCD it is represented by a 4 bit binary number whose decimal value is equal to 0 that is 0 0 0 0. Now in BCD the decimal Number digit 5 is represented by 0, 1, 0, 1 because the decimal value of this number 0, 1, 0, 1 is 5. Similarly, in BCD, the decimal number digit 1 right, is represented by this 4 bit number. 0, 0, 0, 1 because the decimal value of this 4 bit number is 1. Now what this BCD adder does? It takes decimal digits A and B in BCD along with an input carry as input. It adds A, B and input carry and it gives least significant decimal digit of sum of A, B and input carry in BCD along with output carry as output. Now, BCD adder must have 9 input variables and 5 output variables. It must have 9 input variables. One is for input carry and uh, as we know that in BCD a decimal digit is uh, represented by 4 bit binary numbers. So in BCD adder are two decimal digits represented in BCD are added. So other 8 input variables are required for these uh, decimal digits which are represented in PCD right? and it must have 5 outputs. One is for output carry and other 4 is for a decimal digit which is uh, represented in BCD. Now, we know that sum of two digits of decimal number system and an input carry cannot exceed 19. Why? Because the maximum value of a digit of decimal number system is 9. 
So, if uh, both of the digits are 9, right, then uh, input carries 1, so their sum would be 19. So, the maximum sum of two digits of decimal number system and an input carry is 90. Now, how we can implement a BCD adder with the help of 4 bit binary adder? We know that a 4 bit binary adder adds an input carry and two 4 bit binary numbers. In BCD, a decimal digit is represented by a binary number which is of 4 bit and the decimal value of that binary number is equivalent to the value of that decimal digit. Right. So, we can add two decimal digits represented in BCD by 4-bit binary adder. But the 4-bit binary adder will produce the result in binary form. That is, it will give the sum of uh, decimal digits in BCD and input carry in binary form but we require it in BCD so what we have to do we need to change the output of this 4-bit binary adder into BCD now see when the sum produced by this 4-bit binary adder has a decimal value between 0 to 9, then there is no need of conversion. Right? Because a decimal digit in BCD is represented by a binary number whose decimal value is equivalent to that digit right now these are the outputs produced in binary form when the decimal value of the output produced by 4 bit binary adder is 0 right then the carry bit would be 0 right and uh, these four sum bits of 4 bit binary adder will also be 0 and what we require we require it in BCD form so in BCD form also when the sum is 0 right the output carry should be 0 right and the 4 bit binary number which represents the decimal digit in BCD must have decimal value 0 so in this case there is no need of conversion right we don't need to convert the output of 4 bit binary adder right because it is already in BCD form here in this column it is the output of 4 bit binary adder in this first column in binary form it is the required output in BCD form 
so when the value of uh, sum is between 0 to 9 then there is no need of conversion right but when the decimal value of sum is between 10 to 19 then we need to convert it uh, into BCD right now this uh, first column represents the output of 4 bit binary adder right it is in binary form now we need to convert it into BCD now see how it is different look at this decimal value 13 right now the 13 number in binary form is represented by 0 1 1 0 1 right here the output carry is 0 right and these four bits represent a binary number whose decimal value is 13 but in BCD right how the 13 is represented this one right one at the tenth place forms the carry digit here the carry is 1 right and rest of the four bits forms a binary number whose decimal value is 3 right so what we have to do we need to convert the output of 4 bit binary adder from binary form to PCD form right now how we can convert it we need to add a binary number 0 1 1 0 to the output of 4 bit binary adder to get the result in required BCD form so what we have to do when the value of sum produced by 4 bit binary adder is between 10 to 19 then we will add 0 1 1 0 to the output to get the result in required BCD form so what we have to do now we have to check when we should add this binary number to the output of 4 bit binary adder now see here the cases in which this uh, addition is required in which this conversion is required right in all these cases their equivalent BCD representation have output carry right they all have output carry so the condition for output carry in the BCD form is same as the condition for the conversion required in output of adder So we have to make a boolean function for this output carry of BCD form right when the value of CD is 1 that is when the value of output carry in BCD form is 1 then there is a need of conversion it means then we have to add 0 1 1 0 to the binary number now when what are the conditions for which the value of CD is 1 now look at here when 
there is an output carry produced by 4 bit binary adder then in all cases there is the requirement of conversion right so when the value of cb is 1 then value of cd is also 1 apart from this when the value of b4 is 1 along with b3 or b2 right then also the value of cd is 1 right so the boolean function for cd equals to cb plus b4 b3 plus b4 b2 right this is the boolean function for cd now when we get output from 4 bit binary adder we will check for the value of cd right then when the value of cd is 1 we will add 0110 to the output of 4 bit binary adder this 4 bit binary adder adds two decimal digits represented in bcd and an input carry and it produces four sum bits b4 b3 b2 and b1 and a carry bit cb as output now we have to implement the boolean function cd so here by using two and gates and an or gate we have implemented the boolean function cd output of this or gate is cd when the value of cd is 1 then a 4 bit binary number 0110 must be added with the 4 sum bits produced by this 4 bit binary number now this addition is done by this 4 bit binary adder when the value of cd is 0 then a 4 bit binary number 0 0 0 0 will be added with the sum bits produced by this 4 bit binary adder right so the out so the required output would be the output carry cd and four sum bits which are produced by this four bit binary adder that is a4 a3 a2 and a1 and uh, cd would be the output carry thank you very much